Welcome back to the Python tutorial series. I'm so glad you're here. This is the fifth video in the series, and today we will be discussing how to use separate and end in a print statement. Then we will be going over escape characters, including new line, tab, and carriage return. The timestamps are in the description below. So let's dive into the video. If you remember from tutorial 3, there are two different ways to write print statements. You can either use pluses and concatenate, or you can use commas to separate. And I'm going to show that here. This is the first example, and you use pluses to concatenate, and you put a space after every word. You can also use commas, and when you use commas, you don't need spaces and you don't need to convert things to strings because it does it for you. The default separation is also spaces, and you see that down below. There's a space here, but we don't put it up here. But what if we wanted to change the separation? Well, we can copy the string here and then put a comma and do sep equals and in quotations we can do what we want to separate it by. For example if we wanted to separate it by this we could run it and there you go. And also when you use commas the default for an end is a new line character. We can see this down below but what if we wanted to change this? We could also do a comma and then we could do end equals and then whatever we wanted to end it with. So lines three and four can be displayed on the same output line. Look at that. That is how you use separate and end in a print statement. Now let's talk about escape characters. For escape characters, you use a backslash. And what a backslash tells Python is that it doesn't read the next character. For example, if we wanted to put a title of a movie in quotations, it would cause an issue. And Python wouldn't know what to do. And when we run it, it would cause an error. Now we can solve this by using a backslash, therefore it doesn't read the double quotations. So when we run this, it will see the double quotations surrounding movie as normal text. And look at that, double quotations, normal text. In Python, you can also have escape characters such as new line, tab, and carriage return. If we wanted to do a new line character, for example, in the middle of one print statement, we could. We can just include backslash n. And when we print this, it will print hello world on two lines. Look at that. We can also do the same thing, but do a tab instead. So hello world will have a tab in it. And there we go. You can also do carriage return. You may be wondering what exactly carriage return is. Well, what carriage return does, it returns to the beginning of the line. Carriage return is backslash R. For example, when we run this program, it only prints world. Because world is longer than hello, it will override all of hello. But if we had a print statement that had a number of characters greater before than after, you would see this. It backtracks to the beginning and puts Python, but these characters are still here, the best, so it still prints that. You may also see backslash r backslash n. This takes care of both. It returns to the beginning of the line and is a new line character. So this is the best new line beginning of the line Python backslash r backslash n and backslash n 
are almost identical. In Windows, when you hit the return key, it does backslash R backslash N, but when you hit the return key in Unix, it's just backslash N. So that's a slight difference between the two. And that's a brief overview of escape characters and how to use them in Python. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to follow along with the video series by subscribing and hitting the notification bell or by clicking on the next video so that you can expand your knowledge about Python. And as always, I can't wait to see you next time.